Good afternoon, my name is Yermakov Alexander. I represent the company BioAir Group. Our company deals with such important issues as the restoration of soil fertility, increasing the survival of microorganisms when used in agriculture, as well as reducing greenhouse gas emissions from the processing of livestock waste. Now I will tell you in more detail about these three areas. We have created a cyclical well to obtain a product to restore soil fertility from animal waste. It consists of several stages. The first stage is that we recycle animal waste using earthworms in the water-cooled power reactor with the addition of mushroom blocks. The fact is that mushroom blocks reduce CO2 and methane emissions by 33%, so we use them in our production. Further, the resulting vermicompost we load into special equipment – hydro mill, to completely destroy the calcium shell of each component and improve the extraction of nutrients from the compost to the liquid medium. At the third stage, cavitation treatment and the production of a gel soil improver is already taking place. The main task is to make sure that gluing of soil microaggregates into stable compounds. The fact is that with intensive agriculture, the soil is subject to the mechanical effects of water from irrigation systems and the soil is destroyed, erosion and deflation of the soil occur. Respectively, the fertile layer of the soil is disturbed. Our soil improver glues microaggregates into stable compounds, thereby rebuilding the structure of the soil, improves its water and air exchange, increases the overall fertility of the soil. We conducted four years of experience at one of the enterprises when growing vegetables in the open field. We divided the field into two parts. In one part, we made a soil improver at a dosage of 500 liters per hectare, and for four years we took samples from each site and investigated the dynamics of the main fertility indicators. Over these few years, we have been able to confirm that a single application of soil improver has a good effect on soil structure, enzyme activity, water resistance of soil aggregates, and the content of gummas. Here you see the indicators. In addition to the fact that the introduction of soil improver affects the main indicators of soil fertility, we also recorded an increase in yield on the example of cabbage. In the field where the soil improver was introduced, the yield exceeded the control by 28%, which proves the economic efficiency of using this product, and not only the impact on the soil fertility. Preservation and restoration of soil fertility is a very important global task. Our team devotes most of the time to this. To solve this issue, we cooperate with the Federal Scientific Centers of Russia for Soil Science and Microbiology. Since the soil is a living organism, we believe that it's necessary to influence it comprehensively. And one of the directions with which we work to is increase the survival rate of the introduced bacteria. That now every year in the world by 15% increases the use of biopesticides. Basically, they are aimed at solving problems with bacterial, fungal diseases, as well as the fight against insects. But they have a very important problem. This is that after application, they can be inhibited by the native microflora. Their activity Activity can also decrease due to the presence of pesticides. They can be inhibited and die from exposure to ultraviolet rays. Our development, namely the nutrient mediums Tata Bio, are aimed at increasing the survival of wearable microorganisms in the first day twice. That's how the picture shows that we managed to increase the survival of bacteria Bacillus subtilis when applied together with pesticide of triazol group Tabuconazole. This clearly shows the effectiveness of the use of modern methods to improve the effectiveness of biological products. This new solution allows you to expand the scope of biopesticides, increase efficiency both in organic agriculture and increase the percentage of use of modern biological methods. It's an intensive classical agriculture in order to reduce the dosage of mineral fertilizers and reduce the dosage of chemicals. All these issues are actively worked out by our team and we are ready for cooperation in this direction, for the implementation and join R&D with the market leaders. Thank you for your attention.